Who tells about this great deal on specially marked Fuji packs? Fuji. Oh, hey, Larry, we're on. <laughs> Quiet, you knucklehead. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. You stay out of this porcupine. <laughs> Week, the Fringe Festival. The Capitol is getting its first dose of a kind of theater festival that's become hugely successful in Edmonton and Winnipeg. It's dedicated to the kind of theater that isn't safe enough to fill big theaters for long runs, but it is great entertainment. A lot of it, like this act by the comic Kazis, is right off the wall, as is my guest tonight, or maybe I should say guests. Jim Williamson is an impersonator from Winnipeg. Jim, the title of your show is 100 Celebrities in 45 Minutes. That's a lot to cram in in a short period of time. Do you go on stage with everything scripted ahead of time, or are you just winging it and being crazy? Well, it, it's pretty much sorted out in my mind all the time. I work really hard on it. In fact, the first version of it went alphabetically from A to Z. But then when I uh, rewrote it, I uh, changed them around. And um, the 100 you see now are, are, are pretty much set in my mind. But that's only because I go over it all the time. I work pretty hard. Now, you may or may not know that a show here on CJOH in its early years, 30 years ago, helped mm -hmm. a guy called Rich Little get yes. recognized as an entertainer right. and impersonator. Are you hoping to follow him into a bigger career in the U.S.? I'd like to, yes. I was trained mostly as an actor, but I'm a big fan of Rich Lowe's. I have been since I was very young, and he was my first inspiration, in fact, for doing voices. So, yes, I'd like to do what he does. Are there any other impersonators who you look up to? Well, um, not so much impersonators as voice people, like Mel Blanc, who does Bugs Bunny. I'm a big fan of his. And I, I love Lily Tomlin's work, because she does one-woman shows, where she does tons of characters at a time, back and forth, bang, bang. So I like her, too. Now, Jim, is this really theater you were doing in Manatic, or is it more like a stand-up comedy that you'd find in a club? It's not so much theater, Guy, as stand-up comedy. It's sort of an, an extended uh, stand-up comedy bit. So, uh, yeah, it's sort of, sort of extended, but uh, in a theatrical setting. But it's just a very, very long routine, you might say. <laughs> but a funny one, I hope. <laughs> All right, how many celebrities can you introduce us to tonight? Well, let's see. We could uh, start with uh, Father Mulcahy, if you like. Remember him from M.A.S.H.? Hello, my son. My son and daughters. Very nice to be in uh, Manatee. It's a lovely place. Yes. I'd like to introduce you now to the uh, Three Stooges. Hey, Mo. Hey, Larry. We're on. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet, you knucklehead. <laughs> hey, leave him alone. You stay out of this porcupine. <laughs> we want to introduce you now to a fellow from overseas, a good friend of ours, named John Cleese. John? Oh, thank you very much, uh, Three Stooges. Hello. So something completely different now. Uh, the sound of John Cleese uh, quoting short passages from his own work uh, for the paltry sum of a hundred Canadian dollars. Oh, <laughs> sorry, that's uh, not including the introduction, which is an additional seventy-five. Oh, <laughs> blast! Uh, and the apology I just gave, which is an additional twenty-five. Oh, sorry. Uh, the uh, rest of this segment is now totally taken up with humorous quotations from John Cleese. <clears throat> Starting with, uh, quote, jolly good, unquote. Continuing with, quote, you bastards! Unquote. Oh, sorry, uh, can I say that on television, C.J. Roach? <laughs> sorry, thought you a bit broad-minded over here in the colonies. <laughs> anyway, and, uh, yes, the quotes continue with, uh, quote, Manuel, get me a hammer, unquote. And they culminate with late Cleese, in which he says, quote, Right, that's it then, unquote. Oh, that, of course, is not including the introduction to the segment which follows, which would be uh, another $120. But we're going to sort that out with the staff here at the Amanitic Fringe, and hope you come and see it anyway. Seven more performances. Tonight is at uh, 6.15, over at the amateur stage in the bottom of the St. James Anglican Church. Please come and see it. Now you like it. <laughs> That's very good, Jim. Are you here all Thanks. week? Yes, I am. I'm here all week, until the 9th of June. All right. How have the crowds been, and, and how does the festival compare to the ones that you've done in Winnipeg? Well, the crowds have been so far small, but enthusiastic. They've been really good. Um, it just seems to be, since this is Manatic's first fringe, it's something that's going to snowball, uh, we hope, and, and grow. And compared with, say, the Winnipeg fringe, which I've done twice, I would say that this first Manatic fringe is on a level, in an organizational sense, on a level with uh, the third Winnipeg fringe. I mean, it's that together. They really seem to know what they're doing. It's, it's been very well run, and I, I love the technicians in my space. They've been wonderful, and it's going very smoothly. And I, I'm really impressed and pleased and delighted to be here. Everybody's been great. Well, that's terrific, and thank you very much, Jim, and enjoy your stay in Manatic, and good luck. Thanks, Kia. Yeah, well, okay, thank you very much. Nightline will return after this break.